with hopes that the Canoga Park Arts District along Sherman Way will become a major valley destination, Los Angeles City Council member Bob Blumenfield, a top Gensler architect, and several officials joined community members and the San Fernando Valley Master Choral on Saturday, August 27, to celebrate. Long before the stretch of shops and restaurants was renamed the Canoga Park Arts District, the blocks on Sherman Way between Topanga Canyon Boulevard and Canoga Park Avenue were a thriving antique row filled with eclectic shops and a sprinkling of cafes like the still bustling Henri's. But the devastating 1994 Reseda Northridge earthquake severely damaged many of the street's long-standing brick buildings. The weekend destination, which once drew shoppers and antique snoopers from throughout Greater Los Angeles, struggled to recover. Today it's getting back on its feet with a mix of old and newer shops including retro relics etc. It's fabulous. Vintage store, Aquarium City, Old Friends Antiques and restoration, and antique store Canoga Park, and longtime businesses including Knife Trader Cutlery and Follow Your Heart Market and Cafe. A block south, a busy longtime Goodwill store has survived and thrived. Restoring the Madrid is a key focus of Blumenfields who said in a statement that he is bringing millions of dollars to create opportunities for all types of local artists to help the community become a greater destination for business and culture. In 1928, the Madrid was a silent movie house, one of the first buildings erected in Canoga Park. By 1998, the City of Los Angeles Department of Cultural Affairs had purchased the property. It hired Gensler, the global architectural firm, to oversee renovations that will include a new lobby space, upgraded backstage facilities and upgraded sound gear. Blumenfield's office says the council members secured nearly $8 million to renovate the 430-seat theater, with a projected grand reopening during the 2024-2025 season. Less than a half block away, the city has purchased Tosco Theatre, which will also close its doors soon. Blumenfield said in a statement that Tosco Theatre will undergo a $1 million renovation, transforming this neighborhood mainstay into the only publicly owned facility providing opportunities for local artists, non-profit organizations, community organizations, and performing arts students to develop, 